Here's a problem that we run into every once in a while, and that of course is the pressure treated lumber underneath a wood stair stringer on the exterior of a building. And again, remember, wood does rot. So just setting the regular construction standard lumber on top of the concrete might have the same effect as a pressure treated piece of lumber. And if you notice, it's actually sitting on top of a concrete, I mean, off of a metal bracket also. So you have a wood stair stringer supported by a metal bracket that looks like it's holding it about an inch off of the concrete, which that's good. This is what I would suggest using. Instead of using the, uh, the treated lumber at the bottom, put another metal bracket there. If you need two metal brackets, use two metal brackets. Um, but the pressure treated lumber, <clears throat> that I just have a problem with that. It can rot, and of course it can rot just as fast as the regular construction standard lumber that the stair stringer is made out of. Next up, we have a wood post that is actually sitting on top of the concrete also. If the concrete gets wet, the wood will actually wick moisture up. It will absorb moisture into the wood post, eventually creating problems for that also. Last but not least, it looks like the bolts used to tie some of these parts together are starting to rust. Make sure that you use galvanized bolts for something like this. I have seen um, zinc coated um, nuts and bolts actually start to corrode and rust if they get chipped, which they can get chipped when you tighten them with wrenches and ratchets, uh, sockets and stuff like that, impact wrenches. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people think they can just put a regular bolt in there, uh, iron and steel bolt, and paint it, and it'll last for years. Well, it might, but the galvanized seem to do a little better. So keep that in mind while you're working on exterior wood stairs like these. So I hope these uh, videos help. If they do, hit me with the old thumbs up button every once in a while. And feel free to ask any questions you have in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible. And again, thanks for watching.